When Jesus speaks to us about the kingdom of God, he uses the image of a seed to describe what the kingdom is like and how it's going to grow. In places like Amsterdam and Berlin and in, in Greenwich as well, we've seen seeds become trees. Small groups of people become large groups of people as God's worked and breathed on what's going on. And so that now these trees have got the potential for massive multiplication within them into their cities and into other cities around as well. Two years ago, we took a gift day. The money went towards three church plants that we as a many family of churches have been involved in starting in Krakow, Belfast and Bath. And those guys have pioneered starting new churches in the middle of a global pandemic. But by God's grace, we have three churches that are beginning to form and establish now in those cities. So we're going to take a look at where your money has been spent. We arrived a couple of months, a few months before the COVID started. People can gather in small groups. And as you are at the beginning of uh, church, we were a small group. So we moved to Belfast May 2020. We moved with two girls and pregnant with a third. We really feel like we're settling into Bath now. Obviously we came just before Covid which was really quite tough but we've now um, been embraced by this um, small church family that we are giving a lead to. Since we've started meeting in person we've had two baptisms, one being Nicola's mum who we've prayed for plenty of years and then we get to baptise a young man from the city who's just wrapped up in all the things that the city has to offer and then he just finds all his identity and worth in Christ. We were privileged to see one lady especially, it was very powerful. She started in a point she didn't want to see anyone and later gradually started to meet with us and we were sharing the gospel, explaining to her and she became a Christian. You may remember that we were praying for a team of 20 to plant with and amazingly uh, God opened a situation up where they actually approached us and asked us to lead what was their group of about 20 or 30. So we originally started physically together in a room, there was about 10 of us and since then God has been slowly bringing people to us. We are now a group of 15 around each. Some, sometimes Plus. 20. We need you guys, we need other churches to be able to accomplish what God is calling us for. We again want to thank you just for all your prayers and cheering on. I mean, it has felt definitely lonely and isolating at times, but actually we're part of a bigger family of churches um, across Europe and in Ottawa, and it, it really has made such a difference in those moments. I know that you've given to us before and you pray for us. We do really feel so supported by the family of churches. It's not our plant, this is your plant. We've done it together and we're so excited to see more and more cities being planted into with the kingdom of God and the good news of Jesus that he's able to redeem, restore, renew and send out and that's exciting. One of the amazing things in the New Testament is a sense of togetherness and God doesn't just call us as individuals into church together to be in a community but what we see in the New Testament he calls churches to work together. Being together for me just represents uh, a global group of churches that are spreading God's message together. I think it's really important just to be on this journey together. Local church is great and it's great to get stuck in with the local church but it's also great just to be part of something that's bigger that you can see what God is doing across the nations and worldwide. Wydaje mi się, że na razie jesteśmy takim małym ziarenkiem a za chwilę będziemy e, małym listkiem, e, kwiatuszkiem, a za chwilę kwiatem i drzewem. I tak mi się wydaje, po to to robimy, żeby być drzewem i żeby wszyscy mogli być w cieniu tego drzewa, tak jak w cieniu naszego Jezusa. We've been so glad to be part of a wider family who've helped establish us in Ottawa and that as we move forward that we're now able to do that with other churches. It's a nice gift and a gift that we can be together as a community and we can be together and we can be together and we can It goes right away back to a prophetic word 30, 40 years ago that you can do more together than apart. I get to lead Mosaic in Berlin and Mosaic is one of the churches that in the past were funded and actually helped with gift days like this one. And so for us it's a real joy now to come together with all the other churches uh, across the nations uh, to support these new churches that we want to see happening. I myself was part of the Berlin church plant. Now I'm at Emmanuel London. I'd say it's a real privilege to be a part of a whole group of international churches. And one of the important and very nice ways that we can do uh, is door met elkaar te investeren in het werk van God uh, en elkaar te ondersteunen in het vertellen van mensen uh, over het goede nieuws van Jezus. One of the things we love working with other churches is just being real, being authentic, getting support from one another and cheering each other along to do this great work that he's called us to do. 
we are at the point where we're kind of looking into the future, saying, God, what next? What, what about the next 10 years? As we've prayed and talked and planned and started to dream and kind of got into the post-COVID uh, era where we're starting to think about the future again and, and learning to be spiritually ambitious, we've begun to settle on the hope and dream of getting into 15 new cities. That's what we want to go for. One of the things it certainly means is raising resources, getting what we need in place in order to train leaders, to establish churches in new cities. It certainly involves the money that people are able to give. As churches together, I'm looking forward to seeing what we're able to do uh, through the wholehearted, happy generosity of people who feel caught up in the same shared mission together as we move forward establishing churches in key cities in our generation.